Over the course of July, market concerns over the Brexit team and over the health of the global economy eased, leading to a sharp rebound in risk assets. In addition, the US earnings season started on a positive mode with uh, surprises on a positive territory overall. While positive earnings surprises are regular, some sectors surprised more than others, such as uh, basic materials, uh, which delivered earnings much better than expected. In this environment, hedge funds delivered positive returns in July and the most directional strategies benefited from the market rebound. Even driven and short equity managers outperform up uh, 1.52% and within even driven managers, special situations uh, did much better up 4% uh, in July while within the long short equity segment, long biased managers did better than others and especially value long short managers. On the individual fund level, the outperformers were an Asia long short credit manager, an activist on the event driven front and a value uh, long short manager, while uh, the underperformer was a global macro player which turned very defensive after the Brexit uh, fallout and as a result did not benefit from the market rebound. Event-driven managers benefited in particular from their exposure to two important deals, uh, the Sub-Miller versus InBev merger, which has experienced ups and downs recently, and the acquisition of LinkedIn by Microsoft. The two stock prices experienced significant rises over the recent weeks. Uh, on top of that, uh, global macro managers uh, which were up approximately 1% in July, benefited from their long positions on the US dollar. As you can see in the chart, global macro managers are short the euro and long the USD, as well as uh, with regards to the British pound. The fact that the US economy was in better shape in July, leading to some expectations that the Fed may be less dovish than previously expected, triggered a rebound in the US currency and benefited to uh, global macro managers. Going forward, we fear that the market rally is running out of steam. Economic activity in Q2 in the US slowed down uh, and was much below expectations, and this is likely to lead to uh, delayed Fed rate hikes. As a result, uh, the rebound in the US currency is likely to come to an end, and uh, we maintain our cautious positioning in terms of hedge fund strategies recommendations, which imply an overweight stance on long short equity market neutral and variable bias, an overweight stance on merger arbitrage, and finally, an overweight stance on CTAs as well, which have a short USD position at present and are likely to benefit from the depreciation of the greenback if uh, the Fed in the end confirms our expectation that it will not move in the very near term.